Have you ever wondered what exactly spreaders are for? We are going to demonstrate for you exactly what spreaders do in this episode using spaghetti. From a basic engineering standpoint, the idea of a spreader is to simply increase the angle that a stay meets your mast. So, for example, your <laughs> for example, your lowers the stay will be, say, at this angle coming up to meet it. But then for your cap shrouds, it's a much tighter angle. So the idea is, if you can make the stay come up straight, reach the spreader, and then turn to go up, it increases the angle. And the minimum angle that you can have to be effective is 12 and a half degrees. Once you're past that point, so you get a wider angle opening up, the stay is more effective, and everything works better. So that's the main idea of a spreader, is to get the forces out and hold the shrouds out, that way everything kind of comes up to it rather than being such a tight angle. But the other thing that people more so think of when they think about spreaders and the rigging is why some boats have one or two or five or just a ton of spreaders and what the purpose of them is. So imagine this pasta noodle that's uncooked as a mast or a spar. So it's nice and long, very thin, and the idea is to have the tallest, longest, thinnest, lightest object you can to hold the sail up, because the more mass you put up here, the more leverage it's going to have to make the boat heel. So the idea is to make the mast as flimsy as possible to still hold up the rig and everything there. So that's why you have spreaders and all to help support the shrouds that are going to support everything. So pretty much the more spreaders you see in a mast, the more bendy and flimsy the mast is because it needs more points of attachment to give it the structural, structural rigidity that it needs. Now if you see a mast, like say, uh, on a junk rig that has no rigging at all, that is a very, very strong mast, and it on its own can actually support the whole sail. So if you look at this and imagine it's a mast, and you have a very long unsupported length, you can see it bends really easily, like I put no force at all, and the spaghetti noodle starts to bend. But if I put my fingers right here and act as a spreader it's a lot more rigid so the having the fingers in the middle it's kind of like a spreader meeting in the middle of the mast and creating a shorter unsupported length so now the unsupported length went from one to half and say you bring your other hand in and now we have two spreaders and now it's very strong like I am pushing quite hard on this pasta noodle and it's really hard to make it deflect so that's the idea behind spreaders, is they add these little points that help break up the unsupported length. So every time you have a spreader, it's not just the spreader that's going on there, but you also have a stay that terminates at the base of the spreader. And that helps break up the length that is unsupported of the mast. And it's all triangles, and triangles are the most supportive shape there is in geometry. Yeah. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> That is the idea behind spreaders. Now, one more interesting thing. Say you have your mast, and... <laughs> your mast? <laughs> your mast. It's very flimsy. <laughs> now, you have a deck step mast. So here's your deck, and the mast is simply standing on top of your deck, and it's very flimsy like this. Those tend to have usually around two spreaders, except some that are one. But you have the flimsy mast if you would want to be the spreader in the middle. So it becomes a lot less flimsy, so then when I put force on it, it's not so jiggly. And then if you have a second spreader, it becomes even less jiggly. So that is the idea behind two spreader rigs on deck step boats. And a lot of times they do deck step because it opens the interior up because there's not a giant mass coming through your deck. But if you have a keel step boat... Like ours. Like ours. That means that the keel's down here, so the mast is sitting on the keel, and where the mast goes through the deck, it pinches it. And then we have the spreader up top, and you effectively have a two spreader system with only one spreader. So cool! Now, you might be wondering why have more or fewer spreaders? Like, why not just have it be a really strong mast and you're done? And then you don't have to worry about anything. So, for racing, especially, which is where you see tons of spreaders on boats they want a super flimsy mast because the more strength that comes from rigging the more you can tune it so those boats tend to have a mast that's raked back and they can it's just very bendy so they can tweak the mast to be the exact shape that they want 
on a cruising boat like us, we don't mess with that. So we want a pretty strong setup, so we have a single spreader and it's keel stepped. So we get the two pinching points, gives us a pretty short unsupported length and a lot less complication involved. So hopefully that explains a little bit about spreaders and how they work and why they exist. And if you have any questions or you have any suggestions on videos that you want us to do in the future, uh, informational like these, please let us know in the comments down below. Yes, in the meantime we'll be having our pasta sword fight. Priya! <laughs> I win. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and message us directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.